Hey, I'm back. So are you. Oh, Lordy. I've been so busy today. Oh, the best way to find out you have work is to skip a couple days. And then it all hits the fan. And... Ugh, I tell you. The worst part is... When people count on you to, uh... Tell them about a system over which you have no control. So, hey, it came down. I can't get to the knowledge base. Well, let me just flip my magic switch and fix that for you. No, it involves calling IT and waiting and waiting and pretending to be patient but being very impatient. <sighs> yep. Just another Monday. 6.04 p.m., 70 degrees outside. Beautiful 70 degrees. It was 92 yesterday and the day before. It was hot and it was awful and it was muggy and... I installed the air conditioner. Well, I half installed it. I really need to take it out and put it back in, but good luck on that ever happening before October. But, you know, it smells funny because it hadn't been on in a while. But I was off uh, Thursday and Friday. Thursday was my birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday to me. Nothing is as good for your cloud score as a bunch of people wishing you happy birthday on Facebook, I have discovered. I have presents to display, all of uh, which are from my wife. I got some other presents, but they're at home. But Kim was very nice to get me an entire bag of MoMA store things to take to work. She'll buy me stuff, but she doesn't want it in the house. Here's some post-it notes that look like compact discs. Aren't they cool? I'm sorry. Sticky notes. They aren't post-its because we didn't pay 3M any money. I also got, where is it, a tape dispenser. I get it. It's a tape dispenser, but it's tape. Isn't that the, nah. Okay, only I think that's amusing. And Kim, because she paid for it. Man, it's already collected dust from my desk. It's amazing. Just put something down, and just like that, voila. What else I get? I got magnets. Look at these. They're New York, but she got it from the Metropolis Maggot, but they're all kind of New York-y. I got to find some space for them back there. Hey, look, there's some more magnets. There's some LEDs. Well, not LEDs, but seven-segment like Aren't they cool? They came in the Hello format. But I guess eventually I'll put the number of the YouTube video up on there. Actually, why don't I do that right now? What, what number is it? 104? Oh, my God. Let's see. So that would be like this, like that. These are harder to keep straight than you would think. They like to move a lot. They like to move it, move it. How's that? <laughs> he 104. He doing 104 is what he doing. He 104. He old. I love it. Yeah, they're so far back, they're not really as cool as... Uh, maybe I can put them on the other side. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Oh, my hair's a mess. My face is a mess. I need to wash my hair. Too much of that hot weather, right? Although it's not hot today. I got a thing right there, too, a big spot. Well, anything else? I think that's it. Oh, no, there was a... Actually, there's a couple more things. Here's a Space Invader's Space Invader. Does he glow in the dark? I can't remember. So he needs to hang up somewhere, too. He's very cool. He's very day glow if he's not uh, glow in the dark. And, of course, an insanely powerful light. Yeah, no, look out. It's going to break the camera. It really, you know, you're not supposed to look directly into it because it will kill you. But uh, it's from Japan. It's got a little picture of a dog that looks like Snowy on it. Isn't that cool? So you can also turn it to... Oops, I can't, but you can. There's a switch on here for it to be always on. So for putting it on your dog. Or there's the, just press the button and make it go. Yeah. 
So I gotta figure out what to do with that. I could put it on my keychain. Gosh, my keychain's already got so much crap on it. Ever showed you my keychain? This Pikachu, which goes to my car. This Pikachu actually was a giveaway in a cereal box, and my friend Craig's parents gave it to me a zillion years ago. And he has uh, been on my chain ever since. And he is really dirty. Look how dark he is. He should not be that color. He should get all the dirt off him. He probably should be more like one of these other yellows that I've got on here. Walmart keychain. Here's my VPN token. Here's my E-Trade token, always on. It's funny that the one for my company like, isn't as good as the one that E-Trade sends out. I'm not sure what that means. And here's my uh, futuristic Volkswagen key. And here's my Ravy light, another present from Kim. Oh no. Maybe it doesn't work anymore. Is the battery finally dead on it? It is old. Oh, it's not lighting up. Have to get a new a new battery. I wonder what kind of battery oh wait, no, there it goes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This thing is like seven years old and it still works. It's kind of amazing. So, what you need to know about me is if you give me a flashing light, as evidenced by a lot of the LEDs back there, it's all it takes to make me happy. So, if you want to get me a late birthday present, flashing lights, flashing lights. How long have I been talking? Seven minutes. I don't know if I have anything to answer. A lot of you sent me happy birthday wishes through various means. None of them on the W. Well, there's a reason for that. We had a hacker on the W. And I think it was totally coincidence that he did it on my birthday. And to call it hacking is actually to ascribe more talent than the guy had. I hope he's watching, by the way. It was really spamming. It's like, congratulations, you found out how to do the same thing a thousand times. Here's your medal. It takes me one SQL statement to wipe it out. Fantastic. But... He tried again on Saturday. Fortunately, so it was Thursday was my birthday. Thursday I wasted, uh, I slept in. So it was kind of under attack for five or six hours before I woke up and noticed something was going on. And what really happened was so many threads were being tagged as hot, and that sets off my uh, mobile. So my mobile was beeping away crazy, and I was blissfully sleeping in a different room on a different floor and not paying attention. So by the time I got up, okay, so I fixed it. And you can't tell it happened now, which is really the best hallmark of uh, our security, is that when something does happen, it's very easy to fix. But he tried to get on Saturday, and everything I blocked off on Thursday made what was happening on Saturday impossible. So he, instead, he started uh, creating thousands of imaginary referrals. I'm getting paged right now. Someone just started a thread on Mad Men. Oh boy, if only I watched it. Everybody loves Mad Men. CRZSucksDicks.com was his uh, imaginary referral, and he did thousands of those, too. And again, it was like, oh, that's so amusing. Is saying I suck dicks the worst insult you could think of? Maybe if you're 14. So, some 14-year-old guy in Spain... I think he's in Spain. I don't know. I blocked off a lot of Spanish IP space, and all of a sudden he didn't show up anymore. Maybe he moved on. We can hope. So I don't even think it was... I, I gotta think it's a complete stranger, but... But he knew about the sucking dicks. I, To my knowledge, I have not uh, engaged in that activity. Not that there's anything wrong with that. My time is up. Actually, it's not, but i got to belt out of here because I don't want to miss Mr. McMahon on the spectacular three hours of Raw. I will see you tonight live on the Twitter. If you're one of those people that hates me tweeting, I'm sorry. It's going to be 50% more tonight. Otherwise, uh, come back tomorrow, and we'll see what else uh, I have to talk about. I'm sure there'll be something. Bye.